So, let's move on then to the meat and potatoes. Most of my bot interactions happen with this. They do trigger that and we're gonna see about the, what that means. Now, what does that mean? If this beep that, IFTBTs, they give you the power to trigger actions when certain events occur, blah, 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 blah. That's all of your reactions. Something happens and the bot reacts to what just happened. There is a lot of things to do, so let's just get cracking. Add something. First, you have to pick where things happen. Do they happen in Extra Life? Do they happen in Kick, in Patreon, wherever they happen? Let's just start with your own platform, which could be Twitch, but if it's not, it's going to be Kick. I have no experience with Kick. I'm just here to tell you about general practices and you then translate. So for Twitch, what can we do? Bot says, well, you know what? We can even try these things. If your stream goes online, I'll give you an automated uh, command, which, you know, you can choose. To start off with, stream offline or bits donated or users followed, you subscribed, blah, 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 blah. We want to do these things ourselves. So indeed, I want to have something to happen when my stream comes online. So I'm going to go online here. And there is the stream online. Instead of searching, I can just find like that and press next. Now, what's going to happen? Well, we see three command, three things can happen. Either a webhook, which is way too advanced, not the purpose of these videos, or a message to be sent somewhere, or a command to be executed. So let's say I do want a command to be executed because I have a command that goes, for example, emote on and off. This is something that can happen. You want your Twitch or your kick or whatever to just not allow anyone to type in there if you're not live. So you go there, you pick your platform, which is relevant to what you went online on, and then select one of the commands that you have already set. Since we have already set these things, then you select one of those, as soon as you go online, you're going to announce your gear, which is awesome. No delay in uh, uh, needed for that, or maybe you do want to delay, whatever. Let's add this as an action. We are not done. We don't want only this thing to happen. We want other things to happen as well. We want to send a message to our Twitch saying, for example, I'm live. Woohoo! You add that as well. You want something else to happen as well. Send another message to your own Discord. Where is it? Discord. Select the channel. Select the things that are going to go. I haven't connected Discord yet, so that's why it doesn't happen. But if you had selected, you have a list of channels here. You would pick your channel and you say, everyone, if you're that kind of guy, everyone, I'm live. Come on in. And then just for good measure, send your stream. Just so that you can have a URL to point people in. So this cannot be saved now because we have no options. So let's just cancel that out. But you do have your multiple actions that happen of something. You're good. You're golden. Let's go. Next. You give it a name. You have to give it a name. Going live. That's excellent. Pick random action. I don't know if it's useful to you. Whatever. Private means it will be hidden to your messages. This can be used, for example, hiding webhook URLs, which is useful. Be aware of it. If you do intend to use webhook URLs, you should hide them. You don't want to broadcast such things. But if nothing else, you're good, you're golden for most of the time, you will not need most of these things, and you just click finish. And now you have your very first IFTBT.